Hey guys, it's Meredy here, and today I am gonna do a little tutorial about different ways to alter and color in your wood um, embellishments that you get here at Natchez for Boys Kit Club, and also a few ideas for the acrylic embellishments. So I'm gonna use a variety of these things that I've got laying out here, but I'm going to kind of go over them um, one at a time. So I'm gonna start with this soccer ball. Let me just get this off to the side. And there, I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch paper to just put underneath here to protect my work surface first. So you can use all kinds of things to um, uh, alter these. And I'm gonna first go over a whole list of different types of items you can use to alter these. And then I will show you each one except one that I don't have. So you can alter them with mists and the mica mists from Nuvo work really well because they work on light and dark, but there's lots of mists that will work well on these. You can use acrylic paints. You can use distress oxide inks. And I imagine you can use other inks too. I just, um, I don't use any other inks. I just use the distress oxides because I love them. You can use the Nouveau glitter markers. You can use, this is called a snow marker. It's actually not even open, but I'll be showing you how to use that. You can use Nouveau glitter drops. You can use um, embossing powder. This is gold, I know it doesn't look metallic, but it's metallic gold embossing powder. You can use uh, regular Nouveau crystal drops or any of the Nouveau drops. And let's see, and then I'm gonna use some paint markers. Um, these are from Amazon. And I'm gonna use these on the acrylics actually, not on the wood pieces, but I think you could use them on the wood pieces too. So you can use a wide variety of different mediums to alter these guys. Um, the one that I do not have a sample of is flocking. I don't know if you remember flocking from a long time ago. It's almost like embossing powder, but it's fuzzy kind of like makes it feel like felt at the end when it's done. So you can use um, flocking as well, but I do not have any, so I'm not gonna be using that today. So first I'm going to alter this soccer wood embellishment. And the first thing that you should know about these embellishments is they come with a mask on them. So this is not the finished, um, what the finished product looks like. There's a mask and I'm gonna take the mask off the back. So you can see how it looks. And if you ever wanna know if, um, if you can use a certain medium to embellish these, test it on the backside because you won't see the backside on your project. But this is, see it's like masking tape on it and it shows the little charred edges. So you want to take that off so it's nice and pretty. So if you wanted, you could take all of this off the whole front side and just use it as is a wood embellishment. You don't need to alter it or color it or anything, but I'm going to color this one and I'm going to start with the soccer ball. And what I want to do is color the background of this soccer ball, these pieces. I'm going to color them black and I'm going to use Distress Oxide ink. So the first thing I'm going to do is just peel off what I want to color. So I'm just peeling off the part that I want to be black, which is all of that part. So that's very easy. And then I'm gonna take my Distress Oxide in black soot, and I'm going to take, a, this is actually a makeup brush, but it's the same idea as the um, ink brushes that you can buy. And since everything else is covered, it doesn't matter you know, how I put this on. I can get it everywhere, it doesn't matter because all the other pieces of masking are still on here. So I'm gonna color this all in black. And then the next part that I'm gonna to wanna to do Well, I'll finish doing this first. I won't get too far ahead of myself. This is gonna be a fairly simple design that we're coloring here, this soccer ball one. Okay, so I'm done with all my black. I'm done with this. And next I am going to want to do the words. And I want the words eat, sleep, and play. My son's soccer team colors are dark green 
So I'm gonna use Lucky Clover Distress Oxide. So first, I guess I'm gonna close that. First, I'm gonna peel off just the letters. And this can get a little tricky because I wanna peel off the A, but not the inside triangle of the A. So I wanna make sure the inside triangle is still there, which it is. And the T. And I'm gonna fast forward through this while I peel off the rest of the letters, but you can get the idea. Alrighty, so I've gotten all my letters peeled off. And now, instead of using this bigger brush to try to color the letters, because this time I do have to be careful, I can't go over on the black, I'm going to use this tiny little brush. So, and I'm just gonna go over the letters and I'm gonna make sure not to get it on this black ball. But it doesn't matter if, the, if it goes outside of the letters on the outline, like around here, because that is still all covered up with um, masking. And then, so you just have to be a little precise with this, but it still goes pretty quick. The Distress Oxide inks um, go on pretty smooth. So, um, now we've got all the, the words in green. Okay, and then we can go ahead and peel off all the other parts because I'm not going to color the other parts, except I am gonna color the stars, but I'm gonna do that at the very end and I'm gonna show you how to use acrylic paint to do that. So I can go ahead and peel everything because I'm gonna be really careful with the acrylic paint when I do this. And then um, if I wanted, I could paint all of these areas in the ball white. Um, also with acrylic paint, but I will just leave them neutral colored just because. So now we can peel off this whole outer outside Thing. Let me try to do this. And then you'll see how nice this looks. Now you see still, I don't know, you might not be able to see it very good on this video, but the inside of the A in sleep and the inside of the P is still got masking on it. So I'm gonna go in and peel those off too. So I'm again going to pause this so I could just clean this up a bit off camera. But all I'm doing is peeling more of the masking. Okay, so I feel like everything is done on here except for those two little stars between the words. So I am going to come in and peel off those two little stars. And then very, very carefully with a very fine, 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 fine paintbrush, I am going to come in and paint acrylic paint on those two stars. And honestly, it doesn't even need to be completely perfect on them. They're so tiny. So the tiniest little bit of yellow paint or green paint or whatever color paint you want will color in those stars. But I'm just trying to show you different mediums that you can use on this. Or I could have unmasked just the stars and used another yellow, um, yellow distress oxide ink but i was just showing i'm just showing different ideas so that is how this looks and then if i wanted to come in to just dress this up a little with some mist splatters i want to use a brush that i can really like run my finger down and flick the paint almost like a toothbrush and I'm going to try it 
and see if it works with this little one. And I'm gonna try it on the side first. So this, I suggest, yeah, that does really fine, really, really fine mist. So I suggest um, trying stuff off to the side before you do it right on your, um, on your embellishment or try it on the back even. So this does a really, really fine mist. I'm not even sure how good you're gonna be able to see it in the video, but I'm gonna put pictures at the end of this video. So that is this embellishment and that's a few different ways that you can whoa, alter these um, wood veneers. Now I'm gonna do some more with some of the other items that I showed you before. Let me just clean off this mess that I have going on here. Alrighty, the next thing I'm gonna work on are these champagne glasses and I'm gonna use Nouveau Glitter Drops to show you this technique. And all I wanna do for this technique is, is unmask where the actual champagne is in here, but I'm leaving the bubbles, the bubbles in there covered up. And I am gonna do this, show you two different techniques with the glitter. So this time, I'm just putting the glitter on, the glitter Nouveau drops on, and I'm just taking a brush and smoothing it out, just so it's like slightly shimmery in there. Okay, so it's not like a thick dot of the Nouveau. And I'm gonna need to let this dry before I start picking at the insides of there. But in the meantime, I can start unmasking the rest of this. So I'm just unmasking everything. I don't really want to color anything else a different color. I just want this one to have the um, glitter on it. So I'm gonna unmask everything else. And I'm gonna try to do this part, but I'm gonna leave those the dots in the cup, the champagne bubbles in the cup for now, because they're just still wet but I am gonna unmask all of these champagne bubbles at the top and then when I get these all unmasked I'm just going to use the Nouveau like how we sometimes use the Nouveau on paper and I'm just going to put dots of the Nouveau so all these little guys are gone keep pushing them right back on there okay and then I'm just going to put the dots just like how you would do it on paper and I'm not gonna spread these around with a brush like I did inside the liquid in the glass Now I'm gonna to try to peel off these little bubbles in here. I know this probably is not all the way dry yet, but since I'm making the video, it's okay. I just need to finish making our video. And then I could color those in with the glitter Nouveau drops. Or I could just leave them like that. Or I could maybe use a little dot of white acrylic paint and color them so they pop out a little. And I think I'm going to do that. And just in order to get a tiny little dot of white acrylic paint, I'm actually gonna just put it on the tip of my little pick tool. Because that's teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't think I have a brush you could use the end, the other end of a paintbrush, like not the end that you use to paint to, to do that too. But these are so tiny. I think this part of the poker tool is working really good. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to leave it just like this. Um, it's gonna look a little different when the dots appear dry. So you can see it in the, fin in the picture that I have at the end of this video, I'll have 
this in that picture too. So I'm gonna set this off to dry. So that's how you can use the um, Nouveau Glitter Drops to alter these. Um, next we have, I'm going to show you how to alter some of the acrylics. And the first thing that I'm going to do is this acrylic right here says, it has engraved in it that says, hello winter. And I want that to pop a little. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of this white acrylic paint and just put it on here. Make sure it gets into the crevices where it's engraved that says hello winter. I'm using my finger just because I don't mind using my fingers, but you could use um, like a sponge maybe because you don't want it to stick on the surface of the whole thing and stay painted on the whole surface. You just want it to soak into the letters. So let me show you. So yeah, you could use a sponge to do that if you don't want to use your, if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, but see how it goes right in there. And then I'm going to use some of these uh, paint pen, paint markers. I'm actually going to just use the white one for this. And I'm just, these need to be shaken up before they're used. And I'm just going to add a couple little details on these just to show you that you can alter these. So maybe I just want to put some dots. The paint pen is fairly easy to use um, because you have control. These paint pens are slightly thick. Like the nib on this is pretty thick. So... but I hope that that shows you. And again, these are from Amazon. They're my son's because he likes drawing with them. He follows TikTokers and stuff that use these to make artwork, so I borrowed them from him. But I know that they work on these acrylics and it just needs a few minutes to dry. So that's how you can alter your acrylic pieces. And you know, I'm gonna put a little bit on this one just to, so you can see it even better than you can see on the light blue. Well, I didn't plan that out very good, but you can get the idea. So I'm going to allow these to dry. We are gonna come in with this one that says, baby, it's cold outside. And we're gonna use some glitter drops, some glitter marker, and some of this snow marker, which needs to be activated with a heat tool. So I'm going to emboss this at the end of putting on this, uh, this medium, I'm going to have to heat emboss. The very first um, thing that I'm going to do is, let's see. I'm going to just peel off these um, like snowflake pieces on the ends. And that's the part that I'm going to use the uh, liquid snow stuff on. So we'll start with that. And what this does, it just make, when we apply heat to this, it just makes it puff up like puppy. Um, again, this one needs to be shaken up. And since this is the first time I use this, I'm going to have to activate it with the nib. Hold on. Oh, that was pretty easy. And I'm just, it doesn't matter if I get over the edges on this because it's masked. So I'm just gonna make sure I get the part colored that I want. And then when I peel off all the masking, you know, it will just be the part that left that I need. 
So next, I think I'm going to use the glitter marker to color just the words, baby, it's cold outside. I'm gonna get to that right now. Let's see, all oh, of these are good. This looks good. Okay, so now I'm gonna peel off just the words that say baby. It's cold outside. And I am going to pause the video while I'm doing that because this is gonna take a few minutes. And I'll be right back when I have all of the letters peeled off. So already I peeled off the words, baby, it's cold outside. And now I'm going to use this glitter marker. And again, I wanna make sure that it's writing before I just put a big blob on here, just test it on a small piece of paper. And I shook it up as well. I usually shake up all the markers and paints and mists and everything that, that have glitter and stuff like that in them because um, I don't want it to give a big glob of whatever, not the right medium. So I'm just going over the letters that I peeled off. And again, it's okay that it's getting on the outsides because we're gonna peel off all that masking. And actually, I'm gonna go over these little snowflake pieces one more time before I peel off all the masking because I wanna make sure that they're still nice and wet before I do the um, embossing heat gun over them because I wanna make sure that they puff up like, like they're supposed to. And I'm afraid that while this piece sat so long that the wood soaked up a lot of the ink out of this. So I'm just going over them one more time. Okay, so now that I've got these two on there, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the main background of this whole piece. And actually, I'm mostly concerned right now about those six snowflake little pieces um, because I, I want to get them heat embossed quickly and I don't want them to sit there a long time and have it soak up the wood. So I'm probably not even gonna clean out the words in the middle very good before I take the embossing gun to the six snowflake designs. Cause I'm, I just wanna get them embossed while they're still Okay, so I'm gonna take the embossing gun to this right now and do this. Okay, guys, this worked really well. I'm not sure how good it's showing in the video, but it is puffy. It's almost like what the liquid applique used to be years and years ago. You could put liquid applique on things and heat emboss it and it would puff up like snow. It's almost the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera so I can finish weeding all of these little pieces out of here. And then I'm gonna come back and do a little bit more to this piece with um, the silver glitter, uh, silver nouveau glitter drops. And then this piece is going to be done too. But I'm gonna turn off the camera and finish weeding first. Alrighty guys, I got everything peeled off and here's what I have so far. And kind of in retrospect, I think I should have peeled these little stripes and colored them in that light blue glitter marker too. I think it would have looked nice like that, but I didn't do that, so it's okay. It's still cute. And then I'm going to use this glitter, the glitter drops, Nouveau glitter drops, just like we use them on paper and just put teeny little dots of glitter on all of these what are supposed to be little dots of snow on this I believe. Now if I wanted to I could come in with acrylic paint and I would probably again I would just use the end of this and try to color these little stripes but I am afraid that my hand is gonna to be too shaky to do that and they're not gonna be 
nice and straight. They're going to be all curvy. So like I said, you might want to think through really carefully before you peel stuff off, like for sure, for sure what you want colored before peeling all of the background off. Um, for this one at the very end, I could splatter some white just like I splattered the green on here. So I'm actually going to go get um, some white splatter paint that I have and I'm going to splatter that across but I know it will work. Um, I actually went and got an, a toothbrush because I want the bristles to be thick like a toothbrush when I splatter on this. And I got a tiny little bit of water in here and I am going to drop one dot of acrylic paint on here because I want white splatters on this, but the acrylic paint itself is much too thick. So I'm thin, making it thinner with water, and then I'm going to try it on the side. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And just, so, when this is all dry, it will just have white little paint splatters across it. And all I did was use a little bit of acrylic paint and water and a, paint, and a toothbrush. So I'm glad that I grabbed that for that technique. And next, I'm going to get a new piece of scratch paper. And we're going to do embossing powder on one. And I will show you how that works. Alrighty, so I've got a little embossing ink pad and some gold embossing powder and this um, sparklers. So what I want to emboss is just the zigzag little outside of these sparklers. So I'm gonna weed all of that first. So I um, weeded all the parts that I want to have embossing powder and I'm gonna use this Distress Ink embossing ink pad and I'm just gonna put it directly on to my embellishment because everything that's uncovered is what I want the embossing powder to stick to. I hope I'm putting enough on. Oh yeah, okay. And then you can sprinkle embossing powder on. And again, I said this is gold metallic, even though it doesn't look metallic gold right now. When it gets hot, it will. And it obviously covered up everything right now because that's where I put the embossing ink. But watch when I unmask. If I wanted to save a little ink and powder, I would have brushed on the embossing ink with the brush more in the areas that I need it. But for the sake of this video, I didn't want it taking forever. So that's why I just put it right over the top. So now we can peel off all of the rest of this. And all that's going to stay on is just what's lit up on the sparklers what I peeled off at the beginning so I am gonna fast forward through me peeling the rest of this off but you could see what I'm doing I'm just peeling off the rest of the pieces that I didn't want emboss gold embossing powder to stick to. So I'm gonna have to go in and peel off all these little dots too, cause these I do not want embossed either. I didn't peel them off before. So I will be right back when I have all of this completed. Okay guys, so all that's left now is just the pieces that I want to emboss and I'm gonna take my heat embosser and I'm gonna just start embossing them. Okay, so we've got this nice, awesome metallic embossed sparklers and I think I'm gonna turn all these little dots out here. I'm gonna turn the metallic gold nouveau now, if I wanted to, I could have done them all in this shiny gold too, but I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to show more than one technique on here. 
So I'm adding the glitter. And you could also add glitter. Let me show you. That is a great idea. I just thought of another idea. You can add glitter glue, like glitter, like regular glitter, just with glue to this. So let me show you what I mean. I've just got this regular glitter and I've got art glitter glue. And I'm gonna make the inside of these, since this point on this art glitter glue is so fine. I love this. This is my new favorite glue for backing cut files and everything, because the point is so fine on here. Um, it doesn't come with the fine point, but you buy the little fine point separate and it just, it comes with the pin so it doesn't dry out. That just lives in the top. I love this stuff. Um, but yeah, you can just use regular glitter. That never occurred to me until, you know, just now. So now, we've got some nice glitter um, sparklers. And I'm actually going, I am going to take this with some black paint and I'm gonna paint the paint handles black. So I'll show you that too. Just this um, black acrylic paint. So I'll just put a little of this, I'll just put a tiny drop of the black acrylic paint on my paper. I'm gonna dip the tip of this tool in here and just color. If I had a teeny tiny fine point paintbrush, I could do it with my fine point paintbrush, but I don't have one of those here at my work service. I'm not even sure if I have a paintbrush this tiny um, at all, but this works. It's getting the job done. Probably should be wearing my reading glasses to do this because I do not have them on right now. And I'm having a hard time seeing. But that is my fault. And honestly, I could have painted these before tearing off that whole background. I could have just left it masked and just painted over those handles then. But I didn't realize I was gonna want those handles painted until I got it all peeled off. So that is some really sparkly, shimmery, awesomeness. Um, and the last thing that I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna quickly kind of do this one. It's all techniques I've already showed, but it's just a little more color than what I've had on any of these other examples. So I'm gonna color this lemonade one, and I am gonna do two different techniques on this one. I'm just going to do the, um, um, Distress Oxide inks and a little bit of Nouveau Drops. So let me put you on hold for a minute while I weed out the word lemonade and the words freshly squeezed and this little border around here. So I will be right back after I get that all weeded. Okay, I'm also gonna weed off these little um, lemon leaves because I want to paint them green. And I'm gonna use the Distress Oxide ink to paint them green. So I've got everything weeded here and I'm gonna grab an old sheet that I already used once. And I'm going to take the green again. This time I'm going to use, hmm, where did my other brush go? This brush. And I'm gonna paint just the letters for lemonade in green. And I'm gonna get in there and get these little leaves green too. Now it doesn't matter that I'm going over onto the lemons because right now the lemons are still masked off. The only thing that I've unmasked on this right now is the word lemonade and the word freshly squeezed and this border stripe that goes around the whole piece. 
And I'm gonna color the words freshly squeezed and the border stripe, I'm gonna color them all um, bright blue because I think it will pop on this. So I'm gonna color those all um, broken china. And this time I'm just gonna use this tiny brush and just go over the lines real quick. And these are such fine lines. It's not gonna be very bright blue. It's just gonna be a hint of blue when it's all unmasked. But I wanted a coordinating color in there besides just yellow and green. The only place I need to be careful is where these lines get really close to the word lemonade. Okay, and now I can peel everything off. And again, I will do this, a majority of this part off camera so that you don't have to watch. But it's very satisfying <laughs> peeling all of it off to the end, to get the end result. So wrapping up to the end of this uh, weeding here, now we've just got our lemons left to paint. And I thought I wanted to paint them with Nouveau Drops. I still think I will, but I think I'm just gonna do a little in the middle and use a tool to spread them to the edges because I don't want it to get a big giant mess. So I'm gonna use the end of this paintbrush. No, that, that's still too thick. I'm gonna use my little pick to spread the yellow paint to the edges. Um, but the Nouveau Drops give it a little dimension, so I kind of like them. And it's too late for me to remask this to do it in ink, but if I really didn't want to use these Nouveau Drops, if I really wanted to use the ink, I would use the ink with a tiny little brush like this, and I would just very, very carefully keep it in the lemons. But I kind of like this, these lemons in the puffy Nouveau Drops. So this is a lot of information, a lot of different ways to alter your wood and acrylic embellishments. Um, yeah, I would love to see if you use any of these on your layouts. Um, you can share them in our Facebook group at Not Just For Boys Kit Club Community on Facebook. We would love to have you over there. Um, our design team often alters these and shows their examples. On that Facebook group and on um, their social media or their Instagram and social media and our Instagram and a lot of our design team members make videos that go with their layouts so they might have also shown these in videos and they will show how they alter them in the video but um, I will put some still picture a still picture of all of these that we made during this video here at the end I'll try to put some close-up pictures so you can really see the details it's just kind of relaxing you can, oh, I've got a mess going on here. You can make these whatever color you want to match your layouts. That's like the best part of this to match. Um, you can change the colors of the soccer ball to match sports team colors. Whoa, I've got everything going everywhere. But th that is that wraps up this video. And thanks guys for watching. And I hope that I inspired you to alter your wood and acrylic embellishments. Bye.